<laughs> Goya, Goya. What is going on? Travel bags trashed? Sayonara suitcase? Duffels discontinued? Bye bye Boeing? Be gone, Bourget. See you later, Satola. Sayonara, Satola. Bye bye Boeing. Ciao, Crossier. All that and more in this video. This is gonna be a really quick update. Really, really quick update, you guys. A discontinuation of two of Goyard's travel bags, which is really sad. Really upset about. Because I never got them and I wanted to get them. And I don't need any more bags. I can always use more bags. Goyard, look away. Like, that's such a staple bag that people love. Hey guys, me, Curry Daddy. It's Curry Daddy. Curry Daddy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mayank, and I'm a fashion freak. A Goyard geek. A luxury lover. Shopaholic. She shit it. And today's video. <clears throat> today's video is going to be a quick Goyard update about their travel bags. A sad update. So, let's talk really quickly. This camera angle is really weird right now because I got a new thing. So, I'm gonna stay kind of low right here. Also, my Curry Daddy here. Okay, so quick Goya update. Today's video is gonna be a quick Goya update about, about discontinuing travel bags. So if that's something you're interested in, please stick around, please smash that like button, please consider subscribing and keep on watching. Today's video is gonna be a Goya bag, travel bag update. So if that's something you're interested in, please stick around, please smash that like button, please consider subscribing and keep on watching. Okay, first of all guys, in the comments below, please let me know, do you have any Goya travel luggage? If you do, what do you have? Do you like it? Do you have the Boeing? Do you have the Crossier? Do you have the, you have the Boeing duffel, the Crossier duffel? The Satola rolling, the, the Bourget rolling, am I pronouncing those wrong? The, um, the Artois GM, the St. Louis XSL, do you have any of the Goyard travel luggage? And if any of the trunks, and if you do, do you like it, do you hate it, do you want it, do you, what do you feel about it? Please let me know in the comments below. Let's talk about it, I wanna hear about it. This update is also for you because Goyard is discontinuing some of their travel luggage. What? Ah. Now, Goyard travel bags, oh. Love, love, love. Feel like they are a the epitome of like flat. They're a little flashy. They're a little like first of all the the Bourget and the Satola, which are their rolling suitcases, are like, you know, they're very delicate. It's the Goyardi and the paint and the leather. You can't be shoving that thing in like, you know, I mean they're made. Even Goyard says they're made basically for if you fly private. Or that's what my essay used to tell me. It was that they're made. For if you fly private, they're not really made to sh travel commercial. They're not really made for like going up in the thing or being checked because it's very delicate and it's gonna get just destroyed. So Satola and Bourget, they're two rolling suitcases. The Bourget is the one that comes in like a bunch of colors. It's small, it's cute, it comes in every color. And then the Bourget is like the bigger one that only comes in black and black and tan. Then they have their their Artois GM, which I have two of. The navy one they got in Paris last year, at the end of last year, and then black and tan one I got at the beginning of the year, which I haven't think I've done an unboxing of, but I have it. It's in my backlog with another Louis Vuitton bag, which I will maybe do a video of both of them together. We're gonna get a lot of backlog videos. They might be like out of order in time and like prices might be off, but I'm just gonna post them because I, I filmed them and I did, so whatever. I filmed them and I post them and you're gonna enjoy them. We're gonna enjoy them together, right guys? Okay. I'm sure there's still information in there that's valuable or makes sense, or it's just funny to see like what I used to be like versus what I am now. Progression, evolution, growth. Anyway. God, I can't even stay on topic. I'm so bad, you guys. <laughs> so bad about staying on topic. I think I do have ADHD. I think I need to get checked for that because I pro I feel like I really probably do. I feel like that's something that like a lot of people don't realize they have when they're younger and then like studious kids, I was really studious, end up getting later in life. Okay, so, because I was like really stu studious and really smart and really like worked, study a lot. And now I like can't focus. Or maybe it's just like old age and maybe it's just like growing up or like burning out. I don't know, I don't know. Let's check, let's check with the doctor. Anyway, okay, so Goyard is doing, so those are their other luggage. The, the, so Goyard sometimes, basically they are discontinuing two of their bags, which I'm really sad about. So Goyard luggage, like I said, my God, I'm really, I'm all, so Goyard luggage is very, I don't know, it's very, like I said, it's like traveling when you really travel. Like, I mean, there's like these videos of Karl Lagerfeld with all his trunks and like having all, and then Goyard has this whole video about how they, that's how they started with trunk making and luggage and like doing luggage for like the Duke of Windsor and Coco Chanel and Karl Lagerfeld and all these people like they did their luggage and they monogrammed them and they it was like these black like bunch of black black wear bags before they introduced colors it was all like black 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 suitcases black and they still only their big trunks and their big suitcases are only coming black and black with tan. Um, so I have this image in my head of always wanting to have all black wear luggage, which I want to do. I want to like, I want to be that person that's like, shh, that's going through the airport with like black Goyard duffel or black Goyard tote, black Goyard backpack, black Goyard crossbody, black Goyard roller. Like 
it's a vibe, it's a look, it's like serving energy, it's serving a little sleigh to the airport peeps. And I want to do that. Always wanted to have a whole full black set. And I have enough blacks. I have I have the black tote, I have black backpack, I need a black duffel, and I need the black rolling. Anyway, so black has always been like there. But then the, they did introduce all the colors and they do all the colors too now. So Goyard does this sometimes where they discontinue bags without any reason. So I re I just found out, or not just found out, but I recently found out that they're not doing, they're get, di discontinuing the Boeing and the Crossier, which the Boeing is the boxier duffel bag that kind of has the flaps on the side can open up and get bigger and kind of fit to the stuff inside, like conform to the space has two top handles. You could add an extra strap. It's like five or $600, you can get a strap. The bag retails, the 55 is like 4,100, 4,130, I think like that. And then 20, 36 or 38 for the smaller sizes. 4,130 for the big 55, the 50, there's a 50 and a 45. And it comes in all the colors, although they are just, they were already discontinuing the brighter colors and only keeping the masculine colors, which is black, black with tan, navy, gray, and green. Um, and on the website, they only have those five colors. And I think they only have the 45 and the 55 on the website. I don't think they have a 50. And maybe they never had a 50. I could be wrong. Maybe they never had a 50. So if it was the 45 and the 55, the 45, I'll give you the prices right now too. So the last time I got the prices, and this was, mind you, this was uh, this was before August, before they did the price increase, where black was up 25% to the color prices and the January price increase. But I think the prices have stayed the same, roughly. Um, but back then, the Crossier 45, in black was 28.50 and then the in colors was 35.65 so now i think they're all 35.65 or somewhere around there the crossier 50 was 31.05 in black and then 38.80 in colors and now i think they're all around 38.80 the boeing 45 was 29.15 in black 36.45 in colors and now all 36.45 and the boeing 55 was 33.30 in black and 41.50 in colors and i think now it's probably around there too for the colors so those are the front, those are the US prices. Basically the point is that they're getting rid of the bandulier, the, the Boeing, which is that one, and the Crossier, which is their like duffel rounder ones, the square one and the rounder one. The, the Crossier comes in a 45 and a 50, come in a 35, a 40 and a 45. At one point in time, there was a 35 limited edition silver one they did like in 2007. There's the 40 that they did for a while. 50 is the current one that they have which they're also getting rid of. So they phased out the 35, or the 35 was only limited edition. The 45 Boeing is on the website, and the 55 Boeing is on the website. 50 Crossier is still on the website, but they're discontinuing the Crossier and the Boeing. So I found this out. So at the beginning of the year, at the end of last year, I wanted when I went to France, I wanted to get a Boeing and a Crossier because I asked, and they, they had none available, none in stock. They, I could pre-order one, kind of like with the Artois GM. I had the Artois GMs, their other luggage, big the big one that I got. And then they have the St. Louis XXL, which is this really, really big St. Louis that's bigger than the Artois GM, but they discontinued you that too that one was like 1990 i think in the u.s i don't know the price in france but it was like real just a really giant it was called the xxl like it was bigger than the gm it was just called the xxl it was this giant big toady bag and it was 1990 the last time i went to the last time they had it at goyar the goyar between the u.s and they had it on display and it was huge but they discontinued that and now they're discontinuing the boeing and the cross here so if you had any in inclination or intention of ever getting a are like duffel bag like I did and having that look and that vibe because I see people carrying it even for like daily stuff it is very much like the crossier is kind of like the Louis Vuitton you know keep all it's just round you can get a strap you can pay additional for the strap it's like $600 in France it's like three or 400 euros but still still quite pricey I asked for it in November was not available. They said I couldn't pre-order it, or I don't know if I asked for pre-order, but then in January when I went, I asked for it again, they didn't have any available, and then I texted my lady after I left, and I was like, hey, can I pre-order one? Or can I pre-order one? And she said, no, that bag is not available for pre-order anymore, and I was like, oh, please let me know when it is available again. She's like, it's no longer gonna be available for pre-order, we're getting rid of that bag. And I was like, what? She didn't elaborate anymore, so I had to do some more digging. So I texted my local store, essays here, but so basically they're getting rid of the Boeing the Crosshair, discontinuing both the bag line, which is we are like wait like that's such a staple bag that people love the boeing 25 i got that little that red one that i got from france last time is kind of like a toiletry bag but the 45 is like a bigger version and the 55 is like a big duffel and i like i feel like it is a whole vibe and like people have it it looks cool especially in the colors and the red and the orange and the yellow it looks really cool and they're getting rid of it so if you had any intention of getting one i would literally say go and check with like run don't walk go check with your essays right now and see if they have any available or start looking at the secondhand market or something like that because once they discontinue it it's gone and it's pretty much already sold out like i reached out to goyar in paris they don't have any more i reached out to all my essays in the u.s most of them said they don't have any one store said they might have two boeings left and i was like 
okay, let me know. I will take one of them if you have them. Maybe both, but probably just one. I'm still waiting to hear back if they ever got that in. And if they get it, I'll let you know and I'll do an unboxing and I, if I got it or not. And then France, I reached out to Distant Sales in Europe. I contacted I, I contacted Distant Sales in Europe and I contacted Distant Sales in the US. Distant Sales in the US has not responded back to me. I don't think that they have anything more. I checked all the stores. Most of them don't have it. Like one store, maybe, maybe. But if you, if you have, so I'm like, try if you can don't know if they're all gonna be i don't know if they're available anymore i don't know if anyone has any but reach out if you want to get one reach out and go get it right now if you're in europe go and you can get one go get one at any of the stores that you can get it or in, like in another country go and get it because they are discontinuing it and once they're gone they're gone they're not making these again as far as i understand they're discontinuing the whole product i'll i reached out to find more info as soon as i find more info i'll let you guys know but i just wanted to give you this quick update so yeah they discontinued both i don't know if they have any left i've reached out to find out i've reached out to all the stores to see i've reached out to paris again i've reached out to distance sales in europe see if there are any available if i can get any at all if there's any 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 at all available then please let me know and basically i haven't heard back yet so we'll see if i'm able to get one or not and i'll let you know and if there's more information that i find out about why they discontinued or what's going on or i don't know why they did i don't like i just don't understand why Goyard's continuing like to duffel bag like duffel bag is such such a staple thing not maybe not necessarily i mean i feel like i've seen a lot of people have it i feel like a lot of people do have it and it is such a like a staple thing that people need and a travel thing that people need where is it like a luggage travel you know it's like a luggage and a bag company like why would you get rid of your luggages i don't know there's probably something more going on, something in the works or something. I don't know. I don't know why they would do that. There must be some good reasoning. I'm sure there's a good, maybe the maybe the bag is not successful. Maybe it's not doing as well. I know it's always hard to get the bag. You almost have to pre-order in a color. Like if you want a white 55 Boeing or like a like a burgundy 55 Boeing, they like never have any. So you have to like wait months for it to be ordered anyway. That's how it used to be if you wanted to get one because they barely ever had any of any of the colors in stock and you had to basically do a special order without it being the cost of a special order of like 25% more because Usually when you do a special order of any bag, it's 25% more than the actual, than the regular price, more price. But the, at the time, Goyard colors were also just 25% more price than the black. So that, so ordering a special color for this bag in particular, you pay 25%, you, you're just paying to order the bag that's already in the price, 25% more. But if you wanted to order a different bag in a different color or a special order of a bag that doesn't normally come in the color, it's 25% more. Or if you want to do it in some thing. Which I wanted to come. So, uh, yeah, so Goyard's getting rid of it. What else did I want to say? I don't know why they're getting rid of it. It seems like a really bad business decision, but I'm sure there's some good sense behind it. I just, it seems a little weird. Anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much the update. They just continue Brothers back. So if you have a chance to get one, go get one now. I would reach out to your essays and try to get one ASAP. If you had any dreams of getting one, I had dreams of getting one. I love, I wanted to get like, I mean, my dream was to get one of every type of bag in every color of Goyard, which that was my dream. A couple years ago when I was obsessed with Goyard and that was the only brand that I was caring about and I was like, la, 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 la. now obviously I've been introduced to other brands and other sides and blah, blah, so I don't know that I'm ever going to achieve that goal. I mean, still maybe, but like long term. And I mean, not that it wasn't a long term girl. Of course it was long term girl. It's crazy for me to think that I'm going to get all those bags. Although the way I've been shopping lately, <laughs> maybe I would. Um, <laughs> the way I've been shopping the past couple of years, maybe, maybe so. But I did want to get one of every bag in every color, but I guess I'm not, that's not going to happen. Or I'm going to have to buy them pre-sale in the second market and the re-love or the pre-love or the resale secondhand, whatever market, which I have yet to do, but, and I'm nervous to do. I'm always nervous to do because of fakes and authentication and all that kind of stuff. And so, but I'll probably start looking into those. I did want to get, you know, different color totes because I think it's such a, I think it's so cool to have like a colored, like one of those. Although it is kind of flashy now. And that's the other side of it. Like we already is getting very flashy, I feel like right like it's just very recognizable now so is it too flashy to get something that's all goyard monogram and like would i rather have get something that has just the leather or the other side of the anjou or one of their like the saigon or something else a little less patterned or just wear my saint louis inside out you know it's also about safety and you know blah blah, blah because like with a Birkin or Kelly or anything like that, or like, you know, people see that they think you've got a lot of money and then they're gonna rob you. And with everything that's going on in the world and like, I've already been robbed. So like, I just get really nervous and paranoid. And that's why I like, don't like to, I don't know. That's why I like, I'm super crazy about my stuff and keeping it separate in separate places and like things like that. And like not ever having too much of my stuff in one place and not ever carrying too much of my stuff. And also trying to be a little more understated now and not, and going less with the flash flash and more with the subtle, like not the traditional bags and not, that's why I really am glad I got that Hackados backpack because it's not as well known as say a Birkin or a Kelly. And it's like, and like this greeny is like, I mean, it's Chanel, yes, but it's like such a bright green. Like people don't like think it's Chanel. And if you wear it the other way, people, one thing is Chanel, they think of this, they think of black. 
usually. Like her. We also wear her the other way. I haven't worn her that much, actually. And that's, I'm going off on a tangent about safety. <laughs> what am I talking about? Okay, bags. Yeah, just like don't want to be as, like, that's like, I'm not worried about being flashy and stuff like that. So, but I do. So, the, yeah. Oh, because the duffel is kind of flashy. Because obviously one of those duffels is very loud, right? Even if you get in black, which I want in black because I want it to match and I want to have that vibe and that literally, I think of like Lauren Conrad, like literally think of Lauren Conrad with her, her black and her black, that image of her or like, or like Mary Kay or like any other celebrity, not Mary Kay, Kardashians or like any other celebrity that has a bunch of goyard and does it all in black. I like kind of like love that look, but it is kind of still loud when you do it all. I just, I, there's, I love something about matching luggage and maybe it's very basic and maybe that's very like whatever of me, but like. There's something I just really like about it. I've always wanted to do it and I've never done it. I have bags that are the same tones and colors and kind of complement each other and match that way. Or they are, but they're not the same brand and the same colors, but I've never had like a full set from one brand. Maybe that is a little tacky. Maybe that is a little over the top. I don't know if I ever will do it, but I do want to just have the option to be able to have like an all Goyard black luggage. And so I'm going to try really hard to get a black one. If I can, if not, at least try to get one on the resale market maybe one day. Or maybe that dream is going to be kaput. Because again, I don't know. They are kind of flashy. I'm very, I'm literally ping ponging back and forth. I'm literally, I have no idea. I have no idea. I just want to give you guys this update and we'll figure out what I'm going to get one day when I get it. When I get it. If there's something to offer, I'll probably just get it. Just to get it. If not, then I won't. And if I don't get it, then it wasn't meant to be. And I'll find something else. Like I said, I am trying to go into more like subtle and less flashy. And I do want, and I don't need any more bags. They can always use more bags. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Okay, that's all I got. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I would love to hear what your thoughts are about these. Do you, are you happy? Are you sad? Did you want to get a bag? Did you not get a bag? Okay, anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think this is a good idea? A bad idea? Do you want one? Are you going to try to get one? Let me know if you get one, if you have one, if you just got one, if you're looking to get one, what you think, if your heart's crushed that you're not able to get one, if you don't really care. I'd love to know. Let's see you guys in the comments below. Let's talk about it. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. Please, if you think I learned something, if you're happy, if you laughed a little bit, please smash that like button. Please smash the subscribe button. Please share with your friends and family. If you hate it, share it with your enemies and your ex. And I know your time is valuable and I know your time is precious, so I appreciate you spending your time here with me, Curry Daddy. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. I'll tell you the story about Curry Daddy in the next one. Bye.